Hello everybody, and welcome back to some more MTG Arena. Today, I will be playing a mono green historic deck. Specifically, it's going to be a dino deck I created just a couple minutes ago. I figure I usually prefer to play different decks each time, if possible. Let's get to it though. And it's going to be Historic Ranked with my Mono Green Dino. It's mostly following against the Enrage mechanic. Which I really like the Enrage mechanic. Which I might actually turn the game volume down a bit more. I'll keep it. Spike Tail Saris Tops is actually a pretty good card. And I'm playing against a white deck. You already got my Giganato and... I'm just modifying this up bit again. Yeah, and just keep smacking. I don't know why I... the auto doesn't seem to be getting the way I want it to be. I'm attacking before I play Garuk because now I've got a power four or greater, so it lets me draw another card, which is another forest. This game was interesting. Giganato. He got mana starved. The Gekinado is actually pretty good in this deck. It's good just because it's a mono green, so I literally need to play 5 lands and I can throw a 10-10 on the field. Which, with Garuk, Garuk's Uprising specifically, it gives him Trample. So that comes a 10 time with Trample for 5 mana. It's actually really efficient that way. Let's see. Beseju, Overgrown Armasaur, Rampaging Brontodon. Bes yeah, that's actually pretty good. I just need to get my Armasaur on the field. What? Oh, that's the type of deck he's running. Life gain. Okay, my freaking Bane. Ranger class. Is he going to attack? No. Activate it and attack. I'm just gonna hope I can smack him down first, I think. I 
Because I don't have any reach right now that's easily accessible. Hold for ransom's controller, sacrifices it. Oh, that's... This, this is gonna go bad. Ragnit Vaness Dagger Tooth. Gain one life and draw a card. Okay, if he gains one more life, I'm actually going to be in danger. Overgrown Armasaur. And attack with the Dagger Tooth. Thank you. I need to drop his health. Just that tiny bit. Oh, he has Heliod. Oh, that's gonna suck. Rontodon. And he's gonna tap it to get a 4-4. Four, four. Growing Rights of Itlamok. Done. Play this. Play Colossal Majesty. And uh, should I attack? This guy is indestructible, so no. Oh, I need one more creature. Damn it. I'm screwed, I think. Yeah, that's actually really bad. Because I'm going to take a lot of damage this turn. Yeah, and that's going to basically combo with light paws, I'm guessing. Nope. Okay. That's my doom. I have like another few rounds, and then I'm dead. Actually, yeah, I'm dead next round. And there's nothing I can do about it. That sucks. I have nothing to reach. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. That sucks. I was gonna die eventually anyways. And that's game. Well, my deck is not good against angel decks.
Or flying decks for that matter. Or decks that have removal. This deck is more of a concept deck than anything. Because it's like not intended to be the strongest deck. Because if I want to make the strongest deck, I can literally just go into my cards and make a life gain deck right now. But I want to play a deck that I actually find fun. Which for me is. I like really big creatures just smacking down on people. But yeah, if I would have got my. I have like one or two cards in my deck that would have been able to save me there. Mostly ones that would just let me just take out his guys, because dinos are famous for that. Shamanistic ritual, scale the heights. No, I'm. I'm mulliganing. This I'll keep. Which. I'm going to return the Topiary Stomper, I think. Ranging Raptors, and I'm going to Savage Stomp. Oh, it's a blue deck. All my plans go out the window the moment I see it's a blue deck. Because my deck is highly susceptible to counters. Blue-red. Like, look, he's going to counter my card immediately. I'd be more surprised if he didn't counter it. Okay, he's going to go for more cards. You going to play anything? Ranging Raptors. Thank goodness he didn't have enough to counter that. But he probably has enough to just blast it with red. Yeah, Ranging Raptors is actually a decent card. It's more for a flood. Basically get as many lands out as possible and then just throw as many creatures using them. Uh, oh, he's going to play the island. Okay. There. Take action. Now attack. Because if he blocks, it's going to be even worse for him. Yeah, I really didn't want him to keep that Delver of Secrets. That would have screwed me over so hard later on. Come on, Todd, give me three reindeer life points. He has a counter in his hand, I know he does. So. Counter it. Go ahead. Oh, you didn't counter it. Interesting. Now Dormant Grove is going to keep on buffing up my Ranging Raptors. Bold strategy. 
Attack him directly. I'm freaking one man away from being able to throw down my rampaging Brontodon and win. Okay. Colossal Majesty. Yeah, he's in a bit of trouble now, I think. Auto pay. Now Colossal Majesty is going to hit the field. And now I have Vigilance. Which he's going to have to deal with pretty soon. There, that's 8 damage. I'm going to leave him at 5. Also, I want to point out that's a really bad idea to injure my freaking raptor. That was a misplay on his part. Although, it lets his guy survive. Sprite Dragon. Okay. Yeah, that was a good game. I'll give a good game. Oh, then he surrenders, of course. I thought I'd for once get somebody who actually lets me hit them to death. Hey, I got another pack. I'm going to keep going until I get all the rewards, and then I'm going to open up as many packs as I can, and try to build a new deck for the end of stream. Because, yeah, after I've completed most of the dailies and win a few more matches, I'm then going to open the packs and try building a different deck. You go first, Scurry Oak, Scale the Heights, Hydra's Growth. That actually is going to work out really good, I think. Scale the Heights with Hydra's Growth on Scurry Oak? That's going to be weird. Black and red. Oof. That's not a good combination for me. Scurry Oak. Gonna rely on squirrel tokens to win. Unless he immediately destroys my creature. Tapped and just control two more of the lands. Hive of the Eye Tyrant. Cauldron Familiar. Oh, okay. I see what he's going to try to do. He's going to try to burn me to death. Scale the heights. Yeah. Hmm. 
No action. I'll give it another turn. He's a black deck, so I don't really want to put everything in one. Like, oh, these one damage each opponent, you gain one life. Yeah, it's a life gain burn deck. Got it. Life King Burn is going to be interesting. Witch's Oven. Oh! Okay. So. Hydra's Growth. On Scurry Oak. And I'm going to create another squirrel. Add ranging raptors to the field. And not attacking. Next turn I'll start attacking. Whenever a player sacrifices a permanent, Mayhem de deals one damage to any target. Oh, damn. Okay. He's going to be doing a lot of sacrificing, I think. Actually, it's one, two, three... Yeah, he almost has enough to actually kill my freaking scurry oak. Are you gonna literally just gonna wipe out my squirrels? Is it worth it? Oh, ethically, this is going to get bad soon. Hydra's Growth, activate. Take action. Dormant Grove. Elysian Karyatid. Scurry Oak. Yep, create another squirrel token. Attack with these two. Which could actually kill my Scurry Oak if he blocks it with four of these and his devil. He did the minimum blocking. Okay. Take action. Here's another forest. He's going to destroy my Elysian Karyatid. There's no reason he wouldn't. Why are you destroying my squirrels and not the karyotid? Seriously. It's weird. Oh, he has that combo up and running. So yeah, the Brontodon needs to hit the field.
Because this is actually going to start getting bad. Yes, Hydra's growth. Take action. Rampaging Brontodon. Now, if next turn comes around, you die. Well, actually, I shouldn't say that. He'll just be mostly dead. Am I going to add another forest? Yep. Another Oni Cult Anvil. That is bad. <laughs> very, very bad. I'm guessing he has four of them. Four Witch's Ovens. Probably four of the Cauldrons. Four of the Voldoran. Oh. I might be able to live a bit longer. Still not sure on whether I'm actually going to win or not. If I draw the right card, I'll definitely win. Like, if I draw Garruk's Uprising, I just win because my Scurry Oak will be so strong that he won't be able to block it. Okay. He's a block that does doesn't have destroy. Which is actually bad for him. And now everything's gonna attack. And Rampaging Brawlton's gonna run a lot of damage right through him. If I was him, I'd destroy Gnarled Grove Strider. Although I might actually die. Because I'm looking at the... Points? Oh, he's sacrificing it. Yeah, Block was just one of the 1-1s. One it's a smarter move. I think I might still die. Because he might actually have enough damage to straight up kill me. Okay then, this is actually bad. Because using this, he could give me another damage there. Each one of these is three more damage. Plus. Yeah, this is actually going to be a lot of damage next round. Or this round, I guess. Oh, he has a destroy. Oh, he didn't read the card. He's also misplaying really hard right now. Yeah, he misplayed real hard. Like, I actually probably would have died if he didn't misplay.
Like, I think what you're supposed to do is every time it's his turn, use the Witch's Oven to sacrifice the Witch's Familiar, or the Cauldron Familiar, I guess. And then sacrifice the food token and bring it right back, which will be doing one more damage to me every round. Which probably would have killed me over that over that game. Because I was down to six life. So if we would have been a bit more aggressive, I would have died. I'll keep it. I want to get my spine back out pretty quickly, though. Although, Basage is going to reach long before the spine back does, I think. Scurry Oak. Not going to be effective this round. Oh my gosh. No blocker. So first off, I'm going to play this. And then scale the heights. Create a token. No attacking. Doesn't have trample, so I'll block with the 1 1 and take the 4 damage. So I'm gonna play this. I think I'm gonna play Besager Reaches Skyward. And I'm dead. I can see it right now, I'm gonna die. Like, unless Poseidon really quickly grows up. Although, next round, I guess I can get my Thundering Spine back out. end my turn. Bam. I'm gonna die. Oh, you're gonna destroy my one good guy. And that's game, I think. Yep. That is game. My deck is kind of weak to that. Like any rush deck, my deck sucks against. Play another round. I need to win like one more match. And then I'll lock that pack. Might get enough gold to purchase three packs. And then I can start making deck from there.
I kind of want to make a deck completely based around growing rights of Ithlamok. Opponent goes first, okay. Keep seven. Oh, it's a death touch deck. I'm screwed. This is literally a rush death touch deck. Oh no, it's an Elvish deck. No blocking. I'm trying to think of how I'm going to survive this somehow. What? I'm dead. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. There's literally nothing I can do against this guy. Um, now the big question is, should I struggle to hold on or should I just give up? I'll throw my dagger tooth. Crater Hoof Behemoth, of course. I'm gonna go down swinging at least. Just damn. That guy got the perfect freaking hand, though, I think. Like, I don't think he could have got a better hand than that. Although, what that tells me is I probably should have taken out the elf immediately. I'll take it. Temple of Abandon. So, Dagger Tooth is going to be. Wait, Fable Passage. Put it on the belt. He's using a multicolored deck, isn't he? Now he's only using a two color? Weird. It's actually very, very weird. There. And I could do this, or I could scale the heights. And attack. So I need a total of Loathsome Chimera. Okay. Interesting. I almost feel bad for him. Unless he has a destroy card right now, he's going to be in real trouble soon.
And so then next year I'm going to play my Dormant Grove, which is going to cost all my mana. Spitfire Legac. So you're going to try to burn me down. Scale the heights. A second Hydra's Growth. I am so tempted to play the Hydra's Growth. He could actually escape with his Losen Chimera. Yeah, you know what? I'm doing the Hydra's Growth doubling. I so badly want to see what I can become. Oh, he's doing a Landfall Escape deck, I think. Hydra's Growth, again. Attack. You gonna die? Ooh, this is actually gonna be interesting. If he can't play a creature, he's dead. But I kind of want to make him suffer a bit. I don't know why. Gold Span Dragon. Oh, he's really going for it. Because he has to play a creature. Like if he doesn't play a creature, he's just straight up dead. So he has to escape or die. And here's Dormant Grove. And attack. 64-63. This is the deadliest dinosaur I've ever freaking seen. Oh, it can escape multiple times. I wonder how big it's going to... Next turn it's be like a 200 something, I think. And he's actually slowly burning me to death, so... I'm going to have to keep an eye on that. Cultivate. That's actually... He is actually burning me pretty... Pretty good. Let's go with... Colossal Majesty. Growing Rights of Itlamok. And I'm gonna grab... My Topiary Stomper. And attack. Mm. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm actually really tempted to just keep going because I want to have my guy get big. But it, I am being burnt, so I'm probably not going to keep going for too much longer. Considering my guy's going to be a, an 1,000 next turn. I'm just trying to use this to get the Gargix Uprising. Which... I have a 1 in 20... Or, no, not 1 in 20, uh... I have two copies, I draw two cards a turn. Yeah, next round I win. Simple as that. And my creature's gonna have like 3,000 attack by that point. Like, I went next turn just because of Rampaging Brontodon going through him. I think. So, funnily enough, the Rampaging Brontodon is actually more of a threat to him than my Ravenous Daggertooth. Because this is going to become a 14 14. Ooh, thirteen, thirteen. And here's the Chimera back. Come on, I'm looking for a single card. Here's my thunderous fucking bag. Fifteen and a thirty nine hundred attack. Yeah, Lagak is going to be first. But just wow. My guy is big. He has a destroy card in his hand. You wouldn't be hovering over my guy otherwise. Or is he trying to figure a way around it? I have like a 1 in 10 chance of drawing my Garruk's Uprising. Ooh, he's going just really big right now. Garruk's Uprising. attack with this guy. I'm very close to death is a problem. It is actually a very big problem I'm looking at right now. Although I guess I can just freaking flood the field with dinos next round. Or this start in this round. Oh wait, I'm dead. 
I think. No, I'm barely not dead. Because this guy doesn't have trample. I could... Yeah, that'll two, or no, one and two. Yeah, that's barely enough, I think. Come on. Spike-tailed Ceratops. Topiary Stomper. Urban Dagger Tooth. Attack. I am probably going to die soon, though. I like how I've say I've been playing around, but I actually haven't got a chance to take him out. Okay. Come on, give me the card I need. Snapping sail back. Ranger class. And what am I supposed to do with this? And next. Attack with this. And that's all I should attack with. I have no reach. Is my literally only problem. I have no reach and the stuff I need to have trample doesn't have trample. Wait, I doesn't deal any damage. I'm dead. I should have went all in. That's the fail of the day. I had a guy with freaking 250,000 attack. You got 25,000 attack and still lost. He figured out the strategy to kill my guy, though. Nice. Because as long as you didn't deal damage to him, and Rage doesn't activate. But yeah, I still need one more victory now. Basically, when I get another victory and open all of the packs I got, I'm going to be ending the stream. Mulligan. I have to mulligan again. I literally have no cards I can play. Where are they? I'll freaking besage you. I don't care at this point. Keep five. I'll throw Topia or er, Savage Storm and Hydra's Growth. I don't have enough to play beside you. Now I do.
It's a life gain deck I'm going against. Great. Topiary Stomper. You can attack or block unless you control seven or more lands. Poseidon reaches skyward. Which, I'm going to have seven lands this turn coming up. So he's a three colored. And I'm gonna play Urban Dagger Tooth. I have a strategy. Not to mention I'm going to get a 7-7 seven, seven next round. My strategy revolves around the Urban Dagger Tooth and me throwing Savage Stomp on it. Because they both have Vigilance, so I'm basically just going to be smacking repeatedly. Can't attack or block. Okay. Oh, come on. Savage Stomp, Urban Dagger Tooth, Ogre Battle Driver. Submit to Colossal Majesty. Are you going to pacifism my third guy? Considering he's already passed his in two out of three of the things I've played. Don't control the amount of value. Four or less. Urban Dagger Tooth. This, he's playing a negate white deck. Like, this is just wow. Just wow. Draw me something good. The Sager reaches skyward. And in case you're wondering, yes, I'm doing this to try to freaking get through all of my guys. Because I need to get through these cards. When do you do that many gain double strike? Okay. Like he literally has so many negates. I'll get through this eventually though. Draw two cards. One, two. Garg's Uprising. And 
next. Let's give you some more. Don't negate my other guy too now. File off World Sculptor. Great. Now draw two cards. Draw another card. Play Scurry Oak. Play a Forest. Play my Thundering Spine back. Take action to give me another token. Elysian Karyatid. Now this is a stacked field. Now I'm going to attack. See if you're going to block to kill or just block to stop. Trample is a thing, by the way. I'm not sure he realizes. But yeah, unless he has a board wipe, which white does have board wipe. I'm kind of expecting him to use it. Otherwise, he's kind of screwed. Oh, good choice. I was literally about to just infinitely Gyrux Uprising to draw. He's making great choices, actually, with what he's killing. Except the squirrel. The squirrel was kind of a bad choice. Take action for another squirrel. Attack with these two. Oh, are you going to try to... Yeah, you're going for kill this time. No. Skyclave Apprentice at top. that order take action and that was victory that was actually a pretty good last game of the day The game before that would have been even better, considering I had a 25,000 attack guy. Yeah, let's go to the store. Well, I guess I could mastery first. See if they have any interesting cards. Mastery tree. Let's see, this unlocks. Vine Shaper Prodigy. Filer, bigger. Yeah, I'll do it this way. Picked, okay, claim prize. Now go to the store. Which I think I can only buy two more packs. Yeah.
Oh, but one of them is going to be a mythic pack. Now open the four and see what I get. Floriferous Vine Wall. Into the back with maybe with your lantern. The amp, the rest on the bottom in any order. The Shoba Brawler. Equal the number of basic land types. For each basic land type. Okay, so that's. So that's a bit literally intended to uh, have as many colors as possible. Monstrous War Leech. That's for multiple cards. Highest mana value among cards in your graveyard. Oh, okay. I think I could probably manage a three color deck with this. Shore up. Open wings. Phyrexian Goblin. Thran Portal. Additional one life to activate. Okay. Haunting Voda Sea Scavenger. Phyrexian Espionage. Soul of Wind Grace. Land for Phyrexian Warhorse. Okay. I could probably make a three color deck using that. So it would be green, red, and black. But yeah. Thanks for coming to the stream. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you again next time. Goodbye.